With issues about drones becoming front page news, NASA recently co-sponsored the 2015 Unmanned Aerial Systems Traffic Management Convention. Held at NASA's Ames Research Center, the event brought together representatives from the public, industry, academia, government, and the international community to shape the future of low-altitude air traffic management. Everybody who has interest in this uh, uh, small UAS operation in low altitude, we wanted to bring everybody together, uh, make uh, this uh, highly complex challenge uh, known to everybody, and then we can take uh, a developed action plan together. Keynote speakers and panel discussions address possible solutions for privacy and air traffic control, and the impact of low altitude drone flights on the emerging business sector. What if things will move themselves efficiently, economically, quickly, safely, right? Imagine how they'll change the world, right? And that really is what we're excited about. It's that hugely empowering, enabling platform uh, that I, I think is as powerful as the internet. It's just for physical goods and physical packets, if you will, similar to what the internet did for digital packets. A dedicated exhibit space was set up for companies and NASA to show off their vehicles and a wide range of software applications being developed. One of the key exhibits was animation that showed a software-based low-altitude air traffic control system currently being developed by NASA in conjunction with the FAA. It showed how a web-based program could be used in the future to plan and obtain approval for drone flights. Outside, an actual flight demonstration provided a real-world example of how the flight planning software currently works. The audience watched multiple views of the vehicles in flight, computer displays of the vehicle's independent ground control systems, and the new planning software coordinating the flights. For the attendees, the UTM convention was an important glimpse into a not-so-distant future that will touch the daily lives of millions. We always come to a certain point in time that uh, we can almost feel it and touch it, that uh, there, there is a breakthrough waiting right around the corner. And I believe that uh, we are looking at it and we can almost sense it. So this is the event that hopefully uh, 20, 30 years later, when we have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of our small U.S. flying in the sky safely, that everybody will look back and 30 years ago at Ames, uh, NASA folks started this.